This is 2201 13th Street, located in downtown Tuscaloosa, located directly next to the post office, across from the uh, city school board, and uh, directly across from the brand new YMCA. So a full fitness uh, facility there at the YMCA, also a playground, athletic type field behind it. So great location. This is a uh, older house that has been uh, updated and restored. So it's nice and current inside, uh, but does have a ton of character. Uh, on the right side, there is just this single driveway that goes uh, just straight back with the grass strip in the middle. Um, so you could stack cars there, but this is the only off street parking uh, nice landscaping, uh, yard care uh, is provided. And then uh, there is off street parking, or excuse me, on street parking directly across and uh, over on the side. So there's plenty of parking, but only that one small driveway uh, for off street. And uh, on the left side, there is a uh, covered porch, nice little sitting area with a ceiling fan. You can see there. And again, it is on a corner lot and uh, nice sidewalks and then comes around with a fenced in yard. We'll check out as well. Again, with the nice mature landscaping. So uh, we'll head inside and check it out. All right, as we come inside, we walk directly into the living room from the front door. Decorative fireplace is not operable plaster walls throughout uh, so these pictures have been professionally hung but they will be removed um, the owner has asked for there not to be any holes in the plaster does have uh, original refinished hardwoods throughout the house is currently uh, furnished but will not be provided furnished but good size living room there's a door there that goes to a bedroom, but as you can see, it's been, it's not really used. Uh, there is another way to that bedroom. All right, there's a side door that goes out to that covered porch. And then you can walk from the covered porch towards the backyard inside the fenced in area. currently being used as a game day, as you can tell by the uh, furnishings. So it was originally the formal dining room. It is currently set up as a second living area. Nice ceiling fan. Again, the refinished original hardwood floors. So again, it could be used as a second living area, formal dining, formal dining room, office, playroom, many different uses. Hallway there goes to two bedrooms and the hall bath. We'll come back and check that out. So again, we came from the living room into the formal dining room area, and then into the hallway. So we come into the hallway. Uh, on our left is a pantry and washer dryer. We'll check out in just a minute. All right, as so we come into the kitchen, back door uh, goes to a little covered porch and the fenced in backyard. So new updated cabinetry and granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, tile four in the kitchen. Good windows. Again, the, the, the built-in appliances you see, the refrigerator, dishwasher, microwave, and uh, smooth top stove are included. Uh, currently, they have a little bistro table uh, in here. Again, it would not be provided furnished. We'll head back into the hallway for just a second to check out this laundry room area. Has French doors leading to it. So good bit of pantry space on both sides. It is where the water heater is, tile floor in there. They currently have a beverage fridge and a stack washer dryer.
All right, and we'll head back into the kitchen area and then to our right um, is like the master area, master bedroom. On the right, uh, walk-in closet. Bedroom, good size bedroom. Lots of windows, as you can see. Plantation shutters. See in the background, some of the plasters had some issues. Um, it will all be repainted uh, prior to the next tenant. Head into the bathroom area. On our left is a walk-in shower. It's a pretty good size, nice. Vanity. And then the toilet area. Built-in cabinet there on the wall. In that closet there on your left. Back into the kitchen area. Kitchen and back door on our right. Left, we come back to the hallway with the pantry, laundry room area on our right. Back into the formal, what was originally the formal dining room. Living room and uh, front door where we came in. We'll head to the hallway. Good size hallway. Some storage on the left. Again, the house has a lot of character. You can see the old phone area uh, for originally when the house was built. That's where the, the one phone would have been. All right, and then there's two bedrooms, one on left and one on right, and then a bathroom straight ahead. All right, the second bedroom of the house, again with the original hardwood floors, good shape and refinished ceiling fans. A lot of these fans do have these remote controls as well, which is nice. Uh, large windows. Uh, the actual windows themselves have been replaced, so it's more energy efficient. Plantation shutters on some of them. Closet. They have a bunk bed and a like a toddler bed in here currently, but you can see even with a queen size bed, there's a good bit of space, uh, enough room for other. So they have plenty of room for a king size bed or have room for desks, any kind of uh, use you needed. All right, and then the hall bath. Nice uh, vanity there, kind of hotel style with a granite top. Nice tile shower, uh, tub shower combo. And then the uh, toilet is behind the door. So you close the door and it's right there. The hallway. All right, and the third and final bedroom. This door on the right is that door that we saw when we came in in the living room. It's again, not used currently, could be, um, but not necessarily needed. Again, another good bedroom. As you can see, there's little toddler beds and uh, a big, looks to be a queen size bed and there's even another toddler bed on that side. So. Lots of room. They still have a recliner um, in your closet there. So all bedrooms are very good size. So again, three bedrooms and two baths. And then we will head uh, out back to check out the backyard. All right, so as you come out the back door, covered, uh, I'm gonna call it a little porch. Um, I don't know that it's big enough to necessarily like put table and chairs on, but uh, it's nice to be out of the weather when you come out the back. Neat little decorative archway there. Very well maintained backyard. Um, a brick paver pathway. They currently keep their grill down there. There's a double swing gate that leads to that driveway that we looked at at the beginning. Nice privacy fence. Again, this decorative archways. Very nice grass, uh, wrought iron type 
uh, metal fencing around uh, this side. Again, the whole house has new windows. And then you come around the side and then there's a gate that leads to the side porch. Um, so you could get a dog, you could keep the dog away from the side porch um, or vice versa. All right, so if you have, want more information, please visit our website at TuscaloosaPropertyManagement.com. Let us know how we can help.